And I'm back again for another vlog. And this time I'm outside, which I haven't done in like a year. Yeah, yeah, I, I came out here because it's so beautiful. Such a nice, hot day, yeah. Although, this, uh, th today's actually a little bit cooler than what it has been. Yeah, yeah, it's been really hot here this summer, uh, and I've, I've been trying to deal with it as best I can, but, but like, just sometimes I, I get, get so hot and sweaty that I actually have to cool down in the shower, like, like run cool water on me for a little bit, just so I can cool down. Yeah, I, I think it has something to do with my senses and and I'm I'm like more susceptible to heat, I guess. And uh, and um, and for me, it's like easier to get warmer than it is to cool down. Cause like if if I'm cold, then I can just put put on more clothes and, and or a jacket and but when you're when I'm but when I'm hot then there's only so much uh, clothing I can remove to, to stay cool yeah. yeah yeah so I'm glad that it's been getting a little bit cooler this week and hopefully it'll it'll start turning to fall weather soon yeah so for this vlog I wanted to talk about like my scheduling I guess you would call it like I, I mentioned before how I uh, like need a routine, uh, a, a good routine that I can get into so then I'm not just like wandering aimless, aimlessly around and the routine birds. Yeah, and the routine helps me, uh, helps provide structure for me and so I, I can actually do stuff and not just waste time. And it, it doesn't have to be real strict. I'm, I am flexible. And, and for me, what, or, and what really helps me is planning out what I'm going to do in advance, at, at least for the foreseeable future. Yeah, yeah, th th that's why I was, kind of struggling uh, when I was working the PA job in in Colorado because they I wouldn't know if I'm working uh, until th the night before late at night because I, I kind of need to get get prepared for what I'm going to do uh, and so, so I can I can do it do it easier because I'm not not like one of those people who can like not a fast thinker I guess uh, yeah yeah I can't can't really come up with what to do on the spot I, I need some time to think about it. And, and, and it doesn't really need to be like a really long time uh, to, to, for me to get prepared. It, it can be like, you know, like an, like an hour or so, something like that. But like if I need a ride somewhere and, and, and like, like I, 
like if I need a, a ride somewhere and so I, I, I just and ask someone if they can take me at this time and and that 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 works for me but but if it's if it's like like we have to leave now right this second and I don't know where I'm going or or what's happening then that that doesn't work for me and I yeah I, I can't really deal with that it, it doesn't make me make me feel good so for instance uh, at, at the end of my PA job they they asked everyone uh, to to let them know uh, what what days they were available uh, a, a, after they were they were filming uh, and and the, uh, after filming completed I, the only thing left to do was was get everything packed up and, and cleaned out yeah 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 and I I still wasn't sure how long uh, I was gonna stay in Colorado or wh what exactly I was gonna do. And also, uh, my, my sister was coming into Colorado uh, to uh, try out for an ultimate Frisbee team, uh, like, a, like a traveling team. And, and she was going to be in Denver at, at, at the same time I was going to be in Denver. Uh, so I, I wanted to see her. She was only going to be there for uh, the weekend, uh, only only two days, basically. And, and I, I wanted to see her and spend time with her and not have to uh, worry about making time to see her while, while still working. I, I didn't want to have to worry, have to like juggle those two. Uh, and then uh, I get a text from a, a family friend who who lives in Idaho and and she was asking if I was available to house sit over the first weekend in July and, and she would be paying me to house sit. So it was like another job. That that's nice, and and so I, I I thought about all these things and I, I came up with with a plan. So I told them like my last day would be Friday, and my my sister came in Friday night. So I I worked Friday and and the, the, they actually let everyone go early, just because. It was basically just packing up everything, and, and it, <laughs> it was easy, and yeah, so I got off work early on Friday, and, and then picked up my sister from the airport, and, then, and, and she spent the night at the same house I was, I was uh, staying at. And then Saturday, I, I took her to try out. And then I went and got packed up to leave. And Saturday evening, uh, my sister came back over and uh, we, we had dinner together and I, I got to spend time with her. And then and Sunday morning, she had her final day of tryouts and then she, fru fru she flew back with uh, her teammates, uh, who had uh, came to Colorado uh, earlier than she did, and then Monday, I get all packed up and I drive out of Denver and uh, I go see a cousin of mine who lives and uh, about an hour outside of Denver. I would have stayed with her during during uh, this whole uh, two months I was in Colorado, but 
Uh, she lived a little bit too far away. But, yeah. But I, I drove from my dad's high school's friend's house to uh, my cousin's house. And then I, I spent the night there. And then I left the next day and drove to Salt Lake City, which is uh, about the halfway mark. Uh, I didn't want to drive all the way back to here because when, when I was driving with my dad, it took us 12 full hours. And I, I didn't want to do that again, especially uh, since I was alone uh, th this time. Uh, so so I, I drove to Salt Lake City and I was originally planning on just uh, getting a hotel room, but uh, my, my dad reached out to uh, another one of his, his friends uh, from a long time ago, and he lives in Salt Lake City, and I ended up spending the night at his house, uh, which was great. I, I didn't have to pay for a hotel room. Spent the night at his house, and then, then drove back home the next day and I got back Wednesday, I think. Yeah, yeah, what Wednesday? And then then I was able to meet meet the 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 other friend of the family who needed a house sitter and and then I uh, house sat uh, for her over the weekend. Yeah, that was my plan and it, it, it worked out almost exactly how I planned it. I think I I came up with the plan like like a week in advance. But if it was like one day before the start started this plan uh, then that wouldn't work for me, especially since this was this was like like a, a really big thing. Otherwise, like if I was just to do it without planning, then then I then I would have to be thinking about what's what am I going to do next and then that would have slowed me down considerably and I would I'd be like like wondering what do I do now and then have to think about about my next move and, and yeah th that just would not have gone very well and when I plan things out, I, I find things go more smoothly. And I, I say like the, the bigger, the, uh, the events, I guess, uh, the more time I need to prepare. If it's just like, what am I going to do for dinner tonight? Then I don't need, need really any time to prepare. Just like, like whatever I feel like doing. Like if I want to stay home or go out, get get uh, food, then then I I don't need time to pre prepare for that. I mean, easy going with that kind of stuff, but but if it's like you know me moving from one state to another, then I do need need uh, time in advance. Uh, I can't just like get on a plane tomorrow or today and just go somewhere. Yeah, then that 
that wouldn't make me feel good. That just wouldn't be good for me. So yeah, but as long as I have enough time to prepare, uh, then then I'll be good. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be it for this vlog, and uh, until next video, goodbye.